Hi guys, today is Tuesday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys, for yet another compilation vlog, I guess you could call it. Wearing another hat for this vlog. I think last week I had on a baseball cap. Today I have on this little page boy cap from Top Shop, super old, but um, Y'all, the hair in the front of my head grows out so fast and it comes in gray now. So I need to color my hair. So that's gonna be one of the um, things on the agenda for this vlog, coloring my hair. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Um, a start of another week here in 2020, sending prayers and thoughts out to everyone who has family, friends, going over um, to the Middle East right now. So sending, like I said, thoughts and prayers out to each of you. And I'm um, just really hoping and praying that your family members, your friends, uh, those loved ones of yours who are being shipped out, um, come back home safely and soon. All right, so let's take a look at what I'm wearing today. A couple of years ago, I purchased this cap. Um, I have in my puff from the Unfrumpy Mommy store. This has been my ride or die little hair piece for the last few weeks. Um, I have on this turtleneck, which was actually one of my Christmas gifts. I love it, guys. It is so soft, super, super comfortable. And these jeans are actually from Topshop. They are super old as well, but they are really holding up. So comfortable, super stretchy. Not sure if you guys can see that down there, but the down at the ankles, the back of the jeans are actually longer than the front. So I love that. A little distressing going on here. And the knees, not too much. I like that, you know, when I wear my distressed jeans, I still want it to have, you know, a mature look. You know, I don't want holes and things all up here. So I love also that, you know, with the distressing, I still have like a clean wash. The wash isn't overdone. You know, I don't have any, you know, really patches or white pockets or anything like that on the back. Just still pretty clean. All right, so that is that so my uh jacket or coat that i'm gonna wear to, well actually it is a jacket um, i'm gonna wear this gray jacket here from h m um i've had this a few seasons as well um it's just heavy enough to keep me warm today so let me go ahead and try this on and this is how it looks with the jacket on I still need to put my rings on. I don't sleep in my rings. Let me know if you guys actually sleep in your rings. I just find when I sleep in mine, they get um, hung in the comforter and it's just, it's just not comfortable for me. So when I go to sleep, I like to be comfortable. So I don't sleep in mine. So I still need to put the rings on. But yeah, this is the jacket. I love the stitching on it. Like I said, this is from H&M quite a few seasons ago, super old. <laughs> Not sure if you guys can see it, but the jacket is longer in the back, making it a little shorter here in the front. Not overdone, uh, but I thought it would really um, kind of reflect what's going on in my jeans. So that's one of the reasons I decided to go with this <clears throat> jacket today. Has some pockets here, really deep pockets, and it has a zip closure, but I love the stitching on it love it all right and let's see purse for today is again going to be my uh, mini bag from Gucci this is the wallet that I'll be wearing with it today as well um, and this is navy blue I'm not sure if this is coming off on camera but this is absolutely navy blue and the wallet is navy blue with the uh, contrasting red and navy blue stitching as well. Let's grab our shoes. Guys, believe it or not, <clears throat> I have yet to wear these uh, Princetown loafers with the fur. And I'm thinking 
<laughs> I'm going to go ahead and wear them today. I have put these on, I can't tell you guys how many times, and actually taken them off and just decided to go with something else. Um, that is my look for today. Alright, so the first stop is to get these wretched nails filled and cut down. washing process only to find that you are actually missing key components of the actual hair washing process I do it all the time and thus here I am today running out to Sally's to pick up some items so that I can finish washing my hair but how are you guys doing today um, it's another day here in Atlanta, 63 degrees today, 63 degrees, loving it. This has, you know, this has been somewhat of a mild winter, and I don't mean to talk about the weather every time I come on here, but it is what it is. Um, this has been somewhat of a mild winter here in Atlanta. We will have our days where it is a bit cooler, but I'm loving the fact that today it is 63 degrees. <sighs> so yeah, running to Sally's to pick up some stuff for my hair. Uh, you guys will have to let me know what you guys have planned for this weekend as it is Friday at the time that I'm filming this portion of the video. Eric Chase and I have a few plans for the weekend. Tonight we are going out to dinner. Uh, we are going to one of our favorite spots here in Atlanta, South City Kitchen. If you guys have ever been to Arts, well, in, Dis in Orlando, uh, located in Disney Springs, there's a restaurant called, I think it's the actual name of it is Arts. Correct me if I'm wrong, all you other Disney heads out there. Um, but he is, the, the guy Art is um, the former chef of Oprah. So he has a restaurant located at Disney Springs and he also has a restaurant here in Buckhead inside of the W Hotel that's in Buckhead. Um, I believe that one's called Art's Southern Living if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I said all that to say, we are going to South City Kitchen, which is very similar uh, to Arts. Sorry, radio. Um, just really great Southern food. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. And tomorrow, uh, we're going to the movies, Cine Bistro here in um, Atlanta. I think there's several several locations for Cine Bistro. Um, Chase wants to see this mystery movie that has been out since forever and now he actually wants to go see it. Let me know if your kids check out the reviews of movies on Rotten Tomatoes. I believe that's the... But yeah, he doesn't go anything... He doesn't want to see anything that uh, Rotten Tomatoes has not uh, reviewed favorably. 
So we're going to see that to, uh, tomorrow. I forget the name of the movie. It's the guy that was the former James Bond. I want to say he's not doing James Bond anymore. I think he said it was just taking a toll on on his health. Um, but it's it's been out for a while. I want to say it came out in November. But he wants to check that out uh, tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to Cine Bistro because while the weather is good today, it's like I said, 62. I think it's going to rain the entire weekend. So we're going to, you know, try to do activities um, that are indoors. But yeah, that's what's going on with me right now. Um, wearing my little scarf here because I have conditioner in my hair right now, but I have a plastic bag over it. So um, hopefully, you know, won't catch some type of sinus infection or head cold or something going out here with a damp head but I do have this wrap pretty securely um but yeah not a whole lot going on to talk about um in the world right now I usually like to hop in the car and chit chat with you guys about some current event oh um later in the video I will be sharing the lights and how everything turned out um Eric did a great job. I think I am going to start contracting him out as an electrical technician because he does so good hanging the lights. I don't know why he put it, but he does put up a fight. If you guys saw the last video, um, he did put up a fight, you know, about hanging them up. Um, I know one of you said that um, I'd ask you guys or uh, who takes care of the honey do list in you all's house. And uh, one of you said that, um, you were actually the person who takes care of the honeydew list, but the one that I liked was the uh, young lady who said that her husband is the call the guy type of dude. And I like that. <laughs> I do not have a problem when Eric is like, call the guy. I love that. I love that. So shout out to you uh, for leaving uh, your comments. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish driving just on here blabbering I don't have a whole lot to talk about but um I will say you know I think I'm turning into that you know that lady who that individual that friend you talk to on the phone and they're like all right I'm, I'm about to go but then they start up another conversation that's me um but <laughs> so finally there is a home goods out here in the same shopping center as the Sally's that I'm going to so uh maybe I'll run in there you know why not? It's right here. So, and it's early. It's still early in the day. So it shouldn't be too crowded. Um, so yeah, I'm going to run in here. Then I'll run to Sally's. <laughs> yeah, it feels really good outside today. Oh my gosh. I'm getting really early spring vibes. Wouldn't that be great if spring um, were to come early this year? Ooh, that would be nice. But I want a warm spring, not a cold spring. But all right, I'll see you guys inside of Home Goods. Oh, look at this truck. Please leave a comment below. Tell me what you would do with this. Where? Where would you put this? Okay. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's you too. You, well, oh, you're you. the manager on duty. Yes. All right. I'll follow you. Yeah, okay. Let yeah. me see if I have a card in here. I usually what's, have a card. Um, what's it for? What do, um, what's your specialty? I do um, just like day in the life stuff, home. I do home decor, oh, I'll, DIYs. I'll, I'll definitely. Um, but it's the unprompty mommy life. <laughs> okay, thank All right, thank you. <laughs> She's sweet. That was sweet. All right, so I'm gonna look around. I'm gonna put you guys up actually because, you know, I do need to get back and finish my hair. And if I talk to you guys the entire time, I'll be in here forever. But um, Home Goods is a great place too to buy um, coffee table books when you can find them. They don't have a whole lot all the time, but when you can, you know, snag one or two, um, they usually have good prices on them. Mm, but you have to look really good.
Saturday, guys. Good morning. It's like 11.45, but that's still morning. I hope you guys are well. I, I have already been up and out, ran a few errands this morning, and I'm back. <laughs> I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday, whatever time you're watching this video. If you're up early like me, um, I hope your day is off to a great start. If you have been up for a while, I hope you've been enjoying your Saturday. But um, yeah, Derek and I was just talking about something funny, so inside joke. But I think I've mentioned to you guys before that when I get up in the morning, I go into my little um, closet and I just really like to give thanks for, you know, all of my blessings. And I listen to myself as I am praying. I don't, it doesn't come outside of my mouth. It doesn't leave my mouth, but you know, I, I pray in my head and I know that the Lord hears me. And so this morning I was listening, listening to myself pray. And so t this morning I said, just thank you for peace. Thank you for going to bed with none of the worry that I used to have. Um, thank you for just being able to sleep peacefully because there was a time in my life where uh, when I, you know, I didn't really sleep well because I was just always worried. I was just worried. Um, and now I don't have those worries. There is nothing like going to sleep with worry and weariness on your heart because I think at night, that's when our minds just really start to roam free and just wreak havoc on, you know, just on our, our consciousness, our mental. And to be able to wake up this morning and just give thanks for peace, peace of mind, being able to sleep, it is a beautiful thing. Um, so let me know if any of you you, if you, if you know, you pray, I, I'm pretty sure all of my subscribers, I know all of you guys are, you know, in tune spiritually. So let me know if there was a time in your life where all you wanted was to be able to go to sleep at night. Like I used to envy people who I would see out, you know, in the grocery store or in Target or wherever, and they just looked rested. They looked like they didn't have a problem or care in the world. And I envied that so much. All I wanted was peace. And now I have it and I am just so, so, so thankful for just peace and restfulness. But, um, so yeah, just wanted to share that this morning. Also, I wanted to know if you guys were taking a look, um, at all of the return to Ghana vlogs, videos that are out right now. If you're interested, this is also the hair from, um, this is the hair from Amazon that I'm wearing. Um, just in case you're interested, I'll have a link for that below. But let me know if you guys have been checking out all of the Return to Ghana vlogs. Um, I have been watching quite a few of them and the reviews have been mixed. If you aren't familiar with the Return to Ghana vlogs that I speak of, um, I think um, because I'm not really versed on everything. So if you know about it, please correct me down in the comments, but it was coordinated by a group of individuals for, um, individuals not currently living in Ghana to travel, um, back over to the continent of Africa and visit Ghana specifically. And the videos that I have been watching are a bit mixed as it relates to the reactions and just how much fun um, the ladies have been having. And I'm bringing this up because I told you guys that last night we were going out to dinner to South City Kitchen just up the street from us. And it's funny, um, as we were leaving, two ladies sitting across from us, you know, I was ear hustling, and I heard them talking about their trip. Well, one of them had gone and the other girl was saying, you know, that, you know, she wasn't going because she didn't like the price of the ticket. And so as we were leaving, you know, I stopped at the table. Um, Eric will tell you, he and Chase will tell you that I have never met, um, 
someone that wasn't a friend. I, if you're a good person, you and I can be friends. And so I just, I was listening to their conversation. They sounded like sweet ladies. So I just stopped at the table and I was just like, so how was the trip? Did you, so I, I, you know, overheard um, that, you know, you had gone to Donna. How did you like it? And, um, you know, she said she enjoyed it. Um, but that was different from what I heard and maybe I didn't hear correctly. You know, that was my fault, I guess, for ear hustling. But she said that she would not go back. That's what I had overheard her saying. And so when I stopped at the table, I was like, oh my gosh, I was listening. Or I overheard and you said you'd gone to Ghana. How did you like it? And she was like, oh, it, it was fun. It, it, I liked it. Um, but the other young lady said that she didn't go. Um, she said she, she, her ticket price wasn't right, so she didn't go. But um, if you know of anyone who went, let me know how they felt about it. Just from what I saw and ear hustling, I don't think that I would go if they were going to uh, have a repeat trip. If I'm not mistaken, I wanna say this is the second year and the young lady that I spoke with on last night said that she feels that this is probably gonna be the last year in the form that it currently is. She thinks they're going to do some type of, you know, restructuring of the trip. Um, so it will be, it'll be different if they were to have it um, again in the following years. But I didn't see anything that was really a major draw for me. Um, you know, to be on the plane that long and, you know, to spend that type of money to go over. Um, personally, I don't really like group trips. I don't, because you know, a lot of them had to share rooms and you went where the group went. I don't, I like to travel on my own. Let me know if you guys are that way as well. I don't really do girl trips. I don't, I'm definitely not gonna do a, a huge trip like that where you can't really break off on your own and do your own thing. Um, I don't like to travel on a schedule, not like that. Not so, you know, scripted that way, but. Um, yeah, the reviews were mixed to say the least. Um, the food didn't look real appetizing. Several of the people I watched did, you know, get some illnesses. So let me know. If you went, let me know if you know anyone who actually did travel to Ghana. But yeah, that's my little morning spill. I've already had my coffee for today. Um, so today I have some groceries put, to put up. That was one of my stops today. Um, I have a light. Oh, I need to show you guys um, the lights and everything that um, Eric, Eric put upstairs. Cause I think that's where we left off in the last video. Um, he put up a new light over here. Well, no, he didn't do this light. Let me not lie. We had um, our electrician come out and switch out the light over here in the living room area. I just felt like it was time for a little bit of a switch. So we had the light switched out in here and I'll just, you know, share that video with you when I show you the lights that Eric did upstairs. But I think I'm about to hop on the ladder because he's not here right now, and switch out <laughs> the light upstairs uh, in the foyer right here. Um, there's nothing wrong with the light. Did I say switch out the light? I'm gonna switch out the light bulbs. I want brighter light bulbs up here, and here, let me turn around so you guys can see. This is the light fixture here in the foyer, and it's a really gorgeous light fixture, but the light bulbs that are in there um, I want to brighten them up a little bit. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. Oh, that's tall. That's high. 
that. Do not step on that. That's that's high. That's high up, y'all. You, you can't even really see it, but take my word for it. That is high. That's high. All right, let me get the light bulbs. I have one light bulb that will work. These, which I thought would work, are the wrong size. These are obviously the wrong size as well. And these are currently what's in there. I want to take these out because they don't give off the light that I want them to. So I now have to put that heavy ladder back outside and go and purchase the correct light bulbs. <sighs> I should have checked to make sure that we had the light bulbs first. That's a rookie mistake, guys. Don't do that. Make sure you have the light bulbs first before you bring in your mammoth ladder from the garage. This thing is so freaking heavy. So real quick, things to try at Trader Joe's. These latte miel, slightly sweet milk and honey cookies. If you just want, if you, if you are like me actually and have a sweet tooth, but you are trying to do better here in the new year, these right here are so good, but they're not overly sweet. It's just like they say, slightly sweet milk and honey, and they are really good with milk. Um, of course, you wanna get a low fat milk, um, but these are so good. I had some um, um, yesterday. They come in these little, if I can get them out. Little individual packs like this. Really, really light little, they're almost like crackers. All right, so those are good, really, really good. Now, if you just don't care, all right, you don't care, you just need a cheat day, <laughs> these way more chocolate chips cookies, um, they're really good also. These are Eric's, he loves those. Um, so those are really good. And then, if you, let's see, want something that's yummy, and delicious but you know semi-healthy these Trader Joe's fruit bars I have mine here in the raspberry lemon and uh, strawberry flavor these are so good and then lastly from Trader Joe's this um, cookie butter ice cream it is so good if you are a Disney head and you like the gooey butter cake i think it is at um ampling ample hills um ice cream little shop on where's that where's that uh the boardwalk give this a try very 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 similar all right so that's my quick little must buys from trader joe's is all clean and there's nothing in my book better than a cleaned kitchen <laughs> I love when my kitchen is clean I feel like um, the rest of the house can be a mess but if your kitchen is clean it just I don't know it just 
speaks to me. I don't know why, but um, so I put all the groceries away, all the fruit and everything has been washed. So right now I wanna head upstairs and share with you the lights that Eric put in. Guys, he did such an amazing job. I don't know why he makes such a big deal about doing electrical. He is so good at it. Eric is just like a jack of all trades. He can do a lot of stuff here around the house. So let's go ahead and head upstairs. And um, well, before we go up there, let's take a look at the lights that the electrician put in. And the reason Eric didn't do this particular light is because um, this was before I decided to um, switch out the lights upstairs in the hallway, but the electrician was already here uh, doing some stuff um, with the fireplace, I think it was. So um, I purchased this one and uh, he was here, so I let him go ahead and place this one in for me. If you will recall what this room looked like before, we had another light fixture. It was actually a flush mount and <laughs> I just like this one better. It just makes it look a little bit more uh, dramatic, I feel. So yeah, that's what that looks like. Um, the space just looks new now. Uh, when um, people who've been here before, and we haven't had a light in all that long, but when they come over, those who are here uh, regularly, they say that this space looks like you know, it looks like a new space. Um, and that is some new artwork that um, I added over there as well. So love that, really love it. But um, I just think this light right here does uh, really make the space, um, I don't know, it just feels new. <laughs> it feels new to me. So I mentioned before that I just love, you know, after a few years going back and kind of revamping the space or um, taking away some things, adding some things to keep, you know, certain rooms, certain parts of the house, you know, feeling new. You don't want to get bored with your house unless you, you know, plan on moving a lot. You know, we get a house and we stay in it for a while. So um, we don't have any plans to move out of this house anytime soon. We will be uh, looking to purchase a second home um, in Florida, of course, <laughs> down the road, but we're gonna be stuck with this place. So I just want to make sure I am in love with it for as long as possible and I really am. All right, so let's go ahead, head upstairs and take a look at the lights that Eric put in up here. All right, so we are upstairs and I apologize about the echo. Um, but yeah, so up here in the ceiling, these are the lights that Eric put in. So before we had can lights or pot lights, whatever you wanna call them, and they were okay, but I just really felt that we could do something a little bit better a little bit nicer up here. And I'm gonna go back downstairs to the foyer. Uh, that's when you really get a sense of how pretty these lights are. Uh, right now, you know, they're cute. <laughs> they're cute and all, but let me uh, flip the light on. It's gonna be really bright. Woo! <laughs> um, but now, I just think this just looks so much better. And don't worry about that string that leads to our attic right there. But um, gosh, these are so pretty. These are so pretty and I knew Eric could do it. I won't say it was really, really easy for him to take out the other ones and install these, but uh, he did a good job, let me just say that. He did a really good job. And I think that they look absolutely stunning up here. You guys have to see them at night. It is so, they're so pretty. So of course we have three, and that meant we had to buy three of the can light conversion kits. And um, I just absolutely love, 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 love how everything turned out. I don't think I've ever uh, shared with you guys how up the uh, upstairs or this particular floor is decorated. Um, really simple. Um, the hallway is, it's a good size hallway and I didn't want to take anything away, you know, from the size of the hallway. Um, I have always been very simple in my decorating for the most part. And I don't feel that every space in the house has to be 
you know, uber decorated. That is just my personal taste. So I like to keep it simple. My taste with decorating, my taste with dressing, um, as far as clothes go. It's just really super simple and I think you get just a sense of the beauty in your house when you do that way. The wood features, the trim and everything like that, the paint color, all of that stuff. Uh, here in my case, the lights kind of showcase and really do the highlighting of the area for you without having to, you know, over decorate a space and making it feel or appear cluttered. This way it stays really nice and open. And I don't know, it just, it just feels like a brand new home, <laughs> if that makes any sense. I just think um, it's so really bright up here now. It just feels like, it feels like a new house and I cannot be more thrilled. Everything else was already up here. All we did was change out the lights. So if you are looking for a way to kind of spruce up your home this winter and um, you're not really looking to buy, you know, big furniture pieces or gosh, I don't know, switch out floors or anything like that, I say just go ahead and get you some really nice light fixtures and um, it will really, really, really take your space to a whole new level.